Hello there. I greet you all with the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters. Here we are for our special edition of our series applied this week. This time, this edition will be called or titled Applied This Year. As you see, I'm sitting at my house in front of this beautiful Christmas tree, this Christmas tree that Yeretskin has made it and decorated it, and she does it every year very nicely and beautifully. And we are going to celebrate New Year Eve very soon, maybe less than 24 hours. So when you watch this video, it is going to be very close time for the celebration of New Year Eve. New Year Eve and welcoming 2022. Whenever we have New Year Eve celebration, we have a moment when we think about our past life, our life that we spent the previous year, and this year it's thinking about our 2021 year. And as we know, we have been in pandemic and still are, and we have had different difficulties and life situations. Whenever we think about New Year Eve, we also think another concept that is very related to this celebration when we make resolutions. Every time, every year, we have some resolutions that we make ourselves for our health, for our habits, and we make some decisions or commitments that we are going to quit a bad habit or we are going to do more exercise the next year or we're gonna lose weight or we are going to become more organized individual and we have different resolutions that we make all these resolutions are related with our physical health however there is another concept when we can also make a resolution for our spiritual growth or our spiritual health. Today we are going to explore together how we can make a resolution that is related with our spiritual growth or spiritual health. If we think about the word resolution, resolution is the idea when we have a firm decision to do or not to do something. And in this case, it's a resolution when we quit doing something which is bad for us or it's not good for us and for others. When we think about the spiritual resolutions, we can think different concepts and we can relate with different perspectives. And I'm sure whenever I talk and when I speak to you now, you can remember or you can think different resolutions that you can make for the next year. But today, I will share with you two resolutions that I would say it's common and in general, everybody can apply in their life and apply it during the year and every day. The first resolution that I would suggest is read the Word of God. Whenever I say read the Word of God, it is really important in our life if we would like to make any resolution and it's related with our spiritual life, we have to know God's word. We have to learn God's word and we have to read God's word so we can find out what God will is. If I don't know what God wills in my life, if I don't know what Jesus wants from me in my life or how Jesus lived his life, I cannot relate my resolutions with Jesus or with God. So it is important in our life to read the Word of God. If we read it every day, we will learn something new, something related with our spiritual growth and spiritual health, and that will help us so we can become more close to God and more faithful to God. This is my first resolution that I would suggest. 
my second resolution that I would suggest and I would share with you that you can apply during 2022 is visit God. When I say visit God, that means, first of all, I have to think where God can be. We know that God is everywhere. However, there is a place where God abides and where God presence is always there. And that place is called church. When I say visit God, that means visit church. And what, why I would suggest to visit church? Because the church is the place where we find peace, where we are de-stressed, where we are re-energized. Whenever we live in this world and we try to apply a spiritual life, a spiritual growth, we need the Word of God and we need the place where we can find peace and we can find re-energizing power so we can grow in our spiritual life. So today, when we are going to enter the new year, and when we say new year, that means to become a new individual, to become a new existence. And that's why I would suggest those two resolu resolutions that we can apply in our life. Let's have our commitments that we can make for the next year. However, let's do also those commitments. Let's apply those resolutions. Reading the Word of God so we learn what God will is and also visit church, visit God because that's the place where we can find mental and spiritual growth, mental and spiritual peace and there we can re-energize ourselves, refresh ourselves so we can live in this secular life in God's will and in God's, from God's perspective and in God's presence. So I wish you Happy New Year, a blessed year. May God bless you. May God bless your life. May God bless this year. So whenever you start this new year and you make your resolutions, let those resolutions become true in your life and apply in your daily life and experience God's blessing and let the 2022 year become a blessing for you and for your families.